Hello and welcome to Coastal Crafts. So I'm coming on with an AliExpress haul. So I've got dies and other crafty bits and things like that. So first of all, I've got these letters. I haven't managed to turn them into anything for being quite busy um, with school and everything else that comes with life. But, oh no, Bailey, please don't do that. My cat's going cat crazy. So I put stuff on the chair he was sitting on. But these are um, some dies. So I've been debating whether or not, oh, it's a bit noisy, isn't it, to get these letter dies. Um, and then I just decided that I finally wanted them. So the ones that, they're a half decent size, so they're, I think they're three centimetres tall, which is just over an inch. Look at my dirty hands, that's terrible, isn't it? Um, and you get all 26 letters. I think they were three pounds 50 or something like that. Um, and actually in my head was thinking they were bigger. I don't know why, because I do know what a centimetre looks like. Um, but yeah, they're a nice size anyway. So I would use those for, um, scrapbooking putting a name on a card and also I had in mind making a banner but I'm not sure if they're going to be a bit too small for making a banner with different letters on but yeah I like those um they're big I do already have letter dies but these are bigger the letter dies I've got are just from um like a generic brand I can't remember x cuts or something and they're about half the size so that's cute I just put, it's like meant to show you how big it is in case you were interested. So let's see, what else did I pick up along the die front? Um, so I've got this die set, which is quite cute. Let's get rid of those letters, because I haven't turned them. They are, I was gonna, obviously it's gonna say Coastal Crafts, and at some point, if I ever get around to finishing that. So I ordered this one, and these were bigger than I thought they were gonna be, in a good way. I thought it was gonna be maybe more like that size, but this mug and the cream, and the cute heart for the front, arrives they're about one pound fifty or around there and um yeah i like the size that they are i had a quick play but i haven't really made anything much but just because i wanted to cut it out and see see what it was like so it makes this really cute little mug and that's just with vellum over the top um yeah so that's cute i like that you need quite a big tag to put onto it but yeah so that one's cute and what else did I pick up die wise? So I got this one, which was kind of one of those impulse purchases. I don't normally put them in the plastic, but I've not managed to put them away properly. So it was a little girl with a ballet bit, um, a little ballet dress. And when I saw this online, I thought it was going to be a lot bigger, as you do. And I don't really check the sizes half the time. And I imagine myself making lots of little decorations and hanging them up and the children making them at school and things. And it is very pretty, but she's a lot smaller than I had um, anticipated. But she is pretty, so she's not going to be quite the same sort of hanging decoration that I had in mind. It was about £1.50 again, something like that. But she's very cute, and I would definitely hang that up. And that would be quite cute as well, maybe hanging off. Well, she could obviously be a little snow princess, couldn't she, on a Christmas tree, I guess, if I change the colour scheme. I don't know whether that would work off a present. It'd be a bit too three-dimensional, wouldn't it? I had the vision of hanging them, you know, as a bit of home decor, but I think they're a bit small, to be obvious as to what they are. But it's pretty small than I thought it was going to be. Um, and the final die was a reveal wheel die. I'm sure you've seen what these look like. So that kind of spin it round and see what happens. So I just had a quick play um, using some other dies that I already own. Just, and this is the world's most rubbish reveal wheel, just because I wanted to fit. But so take comment on how rubbish that is. I just wanted to work out how to do it because um, when you look at the dice, I was like, well, I need to work out how to do it. But now I understand the process of how it works in my very simple mind. I um, I can make something that looks far better when I get round to it. So yeah, that was kind of, that was about three pound fifty. So as you can tell, I'm rounding all these so I'm in the right ballpark. Um so other things that I got were I do like my embellishments from AliExpress. And I generally pay between about a pound and two pounds. So I can't remember what these were, but there were a whole pack of that looks like 50 to me. These cute little stars. Let's do a close up on the star and a terrible close up on my hand. But they're, they're kind of, what do they sort of remind me of? Almost like candy like stars. So they're very cute. And I use one on this one, but I only got one purple, which disappoints me. But that's luck of the draw, isn't it? So they're really cute. 
Um, and I also got, move those ones out of the way, some like this. I'm actually not that keen on these ones because they look like the way the plastic's been cut around the outside is not as perfect as I'd like. So they look a bit unfinished. I don't know if you can sort of see that. You can when you look there. Um, so they're cute and I would definitely use them. Um, and they may even be, oh, hello, let's focus in. But yeah, they're slightly unfinished around the edges. But there we go, two different stars. And um, another thing I got was some of this. It was a bit bigger. So this kind of faux leather stuff in this really pretty white sparkly colour, which I really like. Wasn't sure what to expect, so I just ordered one sheet for 78p, I think it was, to kind of give it a go. And it die cuts really nicely just using ordinary dies. So this is just using um, an, a bow die and attached onto a little clip so it's a hair slide. Yeah, and I really like that. For 78p, I feel quite precious about it. I know that's not a lot of money, but you know, when you're a crafter, you get quite precious about things. But yeah, I like how that worked out. And then I did a few flowers as well. So I'll just show you how on this little banner that I was doing. These are how they came out of the flowers. These were just AliExpress dies. You can see how they cut it really nicely um, and there's another little flower so obviously unlike paper you can't really mold it it is what it is and it would obviously be very useful to make something like a cover for a journal or something like that um, so I might consider doing that or you can make a little purse couldn't you and various things so I might get some more but um, we will see and the last thing that I got from AliExpress, a bit of a random purchase, was some of these little macaroon pots. Just because I think they're so cute. They're about 35p each. And they are for putting stuff in. And you could put a few bits in. But I think my intention was just to use them for decoration because I love a macaroon. But I do kind of feel like I should have got three because things always look better in three, don't they? And I only got two. So I'm going to have to get another one so it looks better when being displayed. But they're very cute. I think they look quite quite cute, 2035p. They feel nice. Yeah, so not bad for a little decoration. So that's just a quick look into my um, AliExpress purchases over the last week or so. Or probably two weeks. Um, sorry I've not made much with them, but I've not had the loads of time. But I um, hope it gives you a bit of an idea what's out there. Um, if you do want a link... You just need to ask in the comments. I'm not going to post them all unless people actually want them. Um, but yeah, I will speak to you soon. Bye.